Hello everyone, um, so welcome to my Let's Play series where I'm going to be doing a lot of building and a lot of adventuring. Um, yeah, so here we are. I've actually um, been playing for a couple days to get started on a couple things. Because um, as I've said, I do want this to be a build series, not necessarily, like I'll do like a lot of survival things obviously because I'm in survival, but... For the most part, I would like to kind of just be able to get moving right away. So, <clears throat> yeah, another thing I'd like to mention, I realized that in the my world tour video, my, my uh, audio was, my voice was kind of quiet. I'm going to try to talk a little bit louder today. I, I don't know if it's going to help anything. I don't think the microphone I have is very great. So, yeah, now that that's out of the way. Um, I'm going to go sleep because it's becoming nighttime and I actually started off near village and I don't want zombies attacking these villagers. So I actually have built this starter house. It's just a, like a simple little log cabin. So yeah, there's one of my dogs. There's another one. And this is the interior. It's pretty boring. So just going to go ahead and sleep and then I'm going to talk about basically what I'm going to be working on in this episode if you haven't already been able to tell by the title. So I'm going to be building a mansion and this mansion is going to be 117 blocks long. I've already built most of it in creative mode just so that I could get the design down. Now if we move over here, which I planted some, uh, I'm using, I'm going to be using uh, spruce for this build so I had to place some uh, mega spruce trees, so that's why there's Podzel. So, yeah, I'm going to move over here. I've already started building the basic foundation of it. As you can see, it's fairly large. I still have to add a couple things onto here, but I will, uh, I will get that done. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I don't know, uh, I'm gonna go grab some, uh, actually, no, I think, I think I have everything I need for now, actually. So, I'm gonna pull up the dimensions of the mansion here. I actually have the block dimensions of it, so let's see, alright, so there's this indent over here, and then... Okay, so this is, this area is 21 blocks long. So let's just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. Actually, <laughs> I'm an idiot. I guess I already got this done. Um, so that's yeah, kind of fun. Actually, I guess, I guess I'm an idiot. Alright, so basically this design, there's going to be like indented windows kind of, so this is actually going to wind up more like that, and then there's going to be a wall right here. So I'm just going to build the basic foundation here with you guys. I actually kind of forgot what it did in this area. I'm going to have to go check on my creative world. So I'll do that off camera, but I will just build, actually, you know what? I don't think I did this indent on the sides. Actually, I think I did a little bit different, but yeah, so then here on the front, that will go there, and then I remember in the middle here, so it's like, oh, not like, that. see, I'm, I'm, this, I'm going to cut the, these videos quite a bit because I don't want to bore you to death just watching me trying to get my bearings straight. Yeah, I still didn't put this in the right spot. It's got to go up there. All right. So, moving on to the other side. Going to get that done. Yes, yeah, so this mansion's going to be mostly made out of spruce wood, but it's also going to have some dark oak sprinkled in as well. Actually, 
I don't think I'm going to need... Actually, never mind. All right, so I'm going to have to do these areas off camera here because I forgot what I did. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go do that, and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got the basic foundation down now. Uh, so, yeah, here it is. Um, as you can see, I'm using the... Uh, the spruce logs with the spruce planks. I plan on putting doors here. Um, so those are just gonna remain open for now. And then here, another mansion expansion, hey that rhymes, is gonna be going out that way. So this, this I think is just gonna re remain open until now, or <laughs> until then. So it'll probably remain open for a while and it's gonna be kind of annoying to build around, but that's uh that's just that's just how it's gonna be for now. So now I am going to head over to my little old log cabin because I need to go get some glass panes because I am gonna start working on the windows. So well, first I'm gonna make the the windows and then I'm gonna actually put in the glass panes, but I am gonna need them regardless. Do I actually have any on me? No. I actually need to dump off my dirt too. I was doing a ton of terraforming. Or not even really terraforming, just pulling the land back, so I really uh have a lot of dirt. Oh and I guess I haven't turned these into panes yet. Well let's do that right now then. And my crafting table is not over there. <laughs> okay. Just gonna make a couple stacks, you know when I still have quite a bit of glass left. Alright. And you know what? Why not grab... Oh. Why not grab some more spruce logs while I'm at it? Yeah. Okay. So I'll get started with this first part here with you guys, and then I'm gonna cut, and then I will be back. So, there's actually one thing that I'm forgetting. I forget which chest it's in. I'm, I'm going to sort these eventually. Just for now, they're just a mess. So, yeah. I'm trying to think. Can I build these warped vines up without having used bone meal? I think I could stack them on top of each other, but I don't know if it's going to be a, as easy as just like straight up doing that. So... We'll see, I'll get some bone meal. Yeah. Alright, so since I do not have access to bamboo yet, I have not made scaffolding. So, my scaffolding is going to be these twisting vines. I called them warped vines before, I guess. I'm still uh, learning the names of these nether blocks. I know the names of most of them. Oh, hey, drowned. Um, but some of them I'm still learning. Oh. I thought he was going to go for the villagers there. I think he was thinking about it. Or not, maybe. He was probably just trying to get under, like, some cover so that he doesn't burn to death. Alright, I should probably put these... I don't think I'll need the bone meal right now. Alright, so this is basically... I am going to have a lot more detail on these windows. Just for now, it's going to be very plain and basic. Um, but that's just... That's just the... Uh, process that I'm going for. So, just bear with me. It's not going to look phenomenal at first, but in the end it's going to look... I think you, I think you guys are going to look. think it looks pretty cool. Alright. So, basically I'm just going doing the logs on these portions and then I'm I'm going to build like... I'm making like the window frame here, so... That's going on, and then, yeah, just continue the pattern. Now that the outline's done, that was probably the hardest part of, well, yeah, that was probably the hardest part for now. Once I get to the roof and stuff, it's going to be hard to remember exactly what I built in creative. So I'm not really looking forward to that. But actually, I have an idea. Mm, I don't know if I have enough. I was going to say I could, here, you know what, why not just start growing these? Yeah. 
Enderman, Enderman. I'm gonna get you. Oh. Oh, there's another one. Wait, is it the same one? There's another one over there, too. Let's get them both mad at me. This is gonna be dangerous. When, when can I hit you, Enderman? Come on. Come on. Stop being a coward and running. Oh, now it's raining. Now, now they're gonna die. Ooh, I saw one of them die over here. Any Ender Pearl? Nope. Well, sometimes it actually is kind of buggy, and like they'll like be like halfway through their teleportation, and the item that they drop will just like drop somewhere like random. So I actually, I don't know. It's alright though. I actually already have enough Ender Pearls to go to the end. I have not explored a Nether Fortress yet, so that obviously means no Blaze Rods, which means no blaze powder, but I'll, I'll, I'll be probably doing an, an episode where I go adventure into a nether fortress. I actually have found a couple so far, um, one of them, or some of them being in the new biome, so check that out in one of my adventure episodes. Not, ooh. Yeah, there's an Enderman teleporting around here. I can see him. I saw the particles here before. He was here. He's probably still angry at me, honestly. Alright. So. I need to craft up some more spruce wood planks. Alright, so now that I'm done with that, I'm going to cut here and when I'm back I will be done with the I should be done with the first floor of this place so be right back So, uh, yeah, I've gotten myself into a little bit of a predicament here. <laughs> it should be fine. No! Don't explode. just saw a zombie just despawn in front of my eyes. That was, that was interesting. Come on. Get. Get. Come on. Got a 
curl for me? Nope. Well, that was a waste of time. Alrighty, so now I just got to put the finishing touches on the frame of the first floor of the mansion, and then I just got to add glass, and then uh, then I'll be done. So with it for now. So yeah, and there we go. So this is basically the, the design I'm going for. I'm gonna actually go across the river here and just get a better look. I can't really see it that great from here either. Um, yeah, so, you know, this on its own looks kind of bland. It doesn't look terrible, but yeah, so obviously, as I said, I'm gonna be adding some more details onto it. So that's gonna, it'll look a lot nicer and it'll give it more of the look that I'm actually going for. So yeah, time to add on some glass panes and hopefully, hopefully I have enough. All right. And there we go. This mansion is fully fleshed out in glass, just barely had enough. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting. I'll just, I'm going to do a run around of it, um, so that you can see it from all sides. Wow, these things grow fast. Holy crap. That's awesome. I'll definitely be using those. Yeah, so the back is a little bit different than the front. Smaller indentation, doors on both sides. This area is the same. And then... Obviously, this wall is the same too. So, um, that's, that's about it for this one. There's actually one more thing that I would like to show you before I'm done here today. It regards my nether portal. I just like to show the way I decorated around it, you know, I used... A lot of the new 1.16 blocks and I just think that uh, it may give you some ideas for one of your own builds um, or not but still oh baby bunny you're so cute but don't eat my wheat don't do it wait hold on a second hey hey grow up You know, honestly, I don't really know how this works. Oh! Whoa. We just saw a little kid grow up in front of our eyes. That's, that's amazing. That's not something you see every day. Wow. Well. Bye, Bonnie. <laughs> All right. Let's go check out my nether portal. It's right over here. Yeah, so, oh, I was going to crash there. So, um, yeah, it's not actually, I don't know, I might add a little more eventually, but pretty much just, I just wanted to make it look like the nether was seeping into the overworld. You've probably seen designs like this on other channels, too. I kind of took inspiration from that. But, uh, I don't know, I just, whoa, that was weird. I just randomly swung onto the side. Whoa. But, yeah, so, I don't know. I just think uh, everybody want, right now wants to use the, uh, new blocks and yeah I like it so yeah that's uh that's probably gonna do it for today's episode I'm gonna end it off whoa 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 whoa, whoa. let's go into the nether to end it off here that was weird to my shadow just move around like that all right have been here before. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode. I'm going to end the video by eating my last piece of cooked pork chop there. And, uh, yeah, bye. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.